How do you work the laws of the universe? Hello again. My name is Pamela Sobin, Mojo Maker, welcoming you back to another quick session of Mojo Tips and Unstoppable Moments. And today, let's talk about how to work the laws of the universe. And exactly what is that? You know, for those of you that have been doing personal development and working towards your own self-actualization, law of attraction, you know, the universe works on specific laws that no matter what we do, you can't break them. The law of cause and effect, even the law of gravity. There are certain things that is in place, it's set, and it's about us being aware of them to know how we can work it through our lives and circumvent our lives for happier and better and more empowering results. Now, as the mojo maker, one of the things I try to tell people, or at least teach them and bring their awareness around to it, is upping their spiritual intelligence. And this is not about religion, this is not about church or anything like that. Spiritual intelligence simply means how you yourself engage us with life all around you and those laws of the universe in which I mentioned earlier. And you know, there are great teachers around us all the time that we totally ignore about how to up our spiritual intelligence. The great um, psychologist, um, Maslow talked about, you know, the hierarchy of needs, belonging, um, security, survival, all the way up to self-actualization. And I'm really speaking about that climb up to self-actualization and allowing ourselves to hang on and grab on to that part of us that we have met our other self, our real self, and allowing ourselves to build on what it is we need to be happy, to be free, to do the thing that makes us unique. And you know, the teachers that I'm speaking of are children. Children are naturally themselves, as they grow into adulthood, that type of self, that self-actualized self is usually um, trained out of them, in some cases beaten out of them, because they need to conform based on the society they live in, their parents' belief systems, all of that. But as we move towards our own spiritual intelligence, we have to look to those children, not to be infantile in any way, but they have a natural curiosity about life. They have a lot of self-love about themselves, unconditional love. They are curious, they are loving, they are happy, they're fun, they play, they're engaged. There's just so many things about children and their childlike qualities that we have given up on our quest to grow up and be part of society. And that's the place that we have to get back to. That's how we engage the laws of the universe is by getting back to that childlike state. And many great books, many high spiritual books um, out there on the planet talk about getting back to that place of childlike wonder. We've lost it, we become too serious, we don't laugh. There's a lot of things that we don't do that children naturally do, and that's why we love them so much. Being childlike is the way to go. Not infantile, childlike, wonder, unconditional love, an eagerness about your life, an appreciation, gratitude, a sense of fun, all of these things we have misplaced, put aside, or it's just been beaten out of us as we, on our way to being an adult. So, again, I'm Pamela Sylvan, Mojo Maker. Please begin following me at www.pamelasylvan.com or simply sign up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. For those of you that have started to write in and asking particular questions about things, thank you, continue, love it, love it, love it. Or if you want to book an hour session with me to go through some of the points you're, um, you're getting on this video, please don't hesitate. The details of how to do that is in the instructions below this video and would love to hear from you. So again, go out and spiral up your spiritual intelligence so you too can begin to work the laws of the universe. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a beautiful day.